Hey guys, today I am going to teach you how to sketch and cut at the same time with a silhouette. To do this, you're going to need either a Silhouette Cameo 3, which has two tool holders, or a Silhouette Curio. You'll also need a Silhouette Sketch Pen, or your favorite pen and a pen holder. If you're using a Silhouette Sketch Pen, just pull off the lid, place it in the tool holder, and lock it in place. The pen holder is a great option because it allows you to sketch with all kinds of pens. It comes with a pen cap, the main body of the pen holder, and then three different sized collets or collars that hold the pen in place. You have to decide what size fits your pen. This one's a little too big, but this one works well. Slide the pen into the holder until the tip of the pen hits the cap, and then thread the collar or the collet to lock the pen in place. Take the cap off and you're ready to sketch. Just insert it into the tool holder and lock it in place. I have a design here for some tags that I want to sketch and cut at the same time. So I'm going to go to the send menu and then I'm going to choose the design, the text that I want to be sketched. And I have my pen in the second tool in the blue slot so I'm going to switch it to sketch. And then you can choose either sketch pen or pen holder. I'm using the pen holder. And then click on sketch and those lines will turn blue. So I know that they're being uh, executed by the blue tool. Now for the cut, I'm gonna go to tool one, select the blade I'm using. I'm using a ratchet blade and select cut. Then you can adjust your cut settings. I'm slowing down the speed of my pen because I think this pen will work better at a slower speed. And send. Sketching and cutting at the same time makes it really easy to make fun tags, labels, and all kinds of projects. I love using opaque or glitter pens that allow you to get looks you can't get with your printer, like these cool opaque white pens. I use them to make some pretty little tags for place settings for Thanksgiving, and you can see more about that over on my blog, Persia Lou. Hope you enjoyed this tutorial, and happy making!